Less than two hours after this video is published, an asteroid is going to strike Earth over the island of Luzon in the Philippines. This is expected to occur at 4.46 p.m. UTC time on September 4th or 12.46 a.m. local time on September 5th. But do not fear this event, as this is no city-killing asteroid, but rather one almost certain to completely burn up in our planet's atmosphere due to its small size. The asteroid in question is known as CAQTDL2 and only measures a mere 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet wide, which is an order of magnitude smaller than the minimum 15 meters wide an iron asteroid needs to be to have a chance for most of its mass to physically impact the planet rather than burn up. Since only about 10% of asteroids are iron rich, this impacting asteroid is likely to have a far lower density with a differing composition, perhaps with a total mass of about 6 metric tons. This 6 metric ton figure assumes the asteroid whose composition we do not know is a type L chondrate formed when clumps of dust merge together during the early solar system. Current models suggest that this object, which was only discovered this morning, will impact at a velocity of 20.7 km per second, a figure higher than what most asteroids collide at of 17 km per second, providing conclusive evidence that it will indeed burn up high in the atmosphere and cause zero damage of any kind to people below. Thus, I am sorry to say that it is unlikely that any meteorite fragments will be found today since the entire asteroid will be pulverized within a few seconds of entry, although it will produce a bright flash of light that will be visible from Manila to Santa Ana. Santa Ana is likely to be around the epicenter of this event, which will briefly light up the sky with the intensity of a full moon for a few seconds. Using a model I frequently cite when discussing ancient asteroid impacts, it suggests that the asteroid will burn up completely at an elevation of 46,400 meters or 152,000 feet in an airburst event. This will create an explosion equivalent to the detonation of 62 tons of TNT. This means that those of you on the ground within a 130 km radius will be able to easily hear the soft explosion which occurs, although it will be barely audible at between 20 and 31 decibels, with the sound arriving around 2.5 minutes after the fireball is observed. Fireballs of this intensity are uncommon based on the viewpoint of a single location, although if we are talking about the entire planet, around 5 objects of a similar size burn up in Earth's atmosphere each year. This collision is not all that rare, just it is noteworthy that ground-based detectors were able to locate such a small object and track it before it struck.